Hello, my name is Zara Javan, and I will be presenting to you our senior project demo alongside my teammate Ahmed Sagaroub. Our senior project is a new take on controlling 3D printers. We wanted to build a controller that supports Wi-Fi and has support for a heated chamber. This was done by using two microcontrollers instead of one. The first controller will be the primary controller that will control the print, motors, and sensors, and heaters, as well as any other user-implemented feature. The other controller is the interface controller, which will control the Wi-Fi module, the LCD screen, and could even work with a camera in the future. The idea of using two controllers is mainly to solve the issue we were having with the limited number of pins. The interface controller allowed our main controller to have free I.O. pins, even after implementing all the extra features. Next, Ahmed will talk about the board. So this is uh, our uh, design. It has a bunch of areas. Uh, each one has uh, or delivers a specific uh, task. Uh, we can go through all of them, uh, starting with the stepper drive uh, uh, area uh, or stepper motor drive area, where we have uh, six stepper motors. Now there are now there is uh, five connected. There is a possibility of an extra one for later expansion. Uh, we also have uh, a lot of thermistors uh, to support the extra uh, heaters that we that are supported in our design uh, these are heaters are actually uh, were integrated to the design to add the capability or to uh, to 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 realize the idea of uh, heated chamber uh, basically we wanted to accurate, accurately monitor the temperature and the heated chamber uh, so hence the extra thermistors uh, we also wanted the ability to control uh, for example, some other uh, DC uh, power or DC uh, devices, such as, uh, yani, and not limited to, for example, a water pump to cool certain parts of the system inside the heated chamber, if uh, if it was ever implemented. Uh, then we we have also, uh, well, obviously we have uh, uh, the lines of or the power lines coming in. We have uh, we have three power lines mainly. One is one sports up to uh, 18 amps, uh, which is going to the heated bed. Uh, the other sports up to 20 amps, roughly, which is going to the heaters. Uh, then we have a small one, which is uh, roughly 5 amps, which is going to the mega underneath, and it's also going to the interface controller, which we'll, we shall talk about in a second. Uh, what else? Uh, of course, we have, a, we have a common reset button that will reset both controllers. Uh, and uh, we have uh, in the interface controller circuitry uh, uh, an 8 mega 328p uh, that's connected or that should be controlling uh, a CC3000 uh, Wi-Fi Texas Internet Wi-Fi module uh, that will allow for Wi-Fi connectivity or Wi-Fi command uh, which will actually commands which will actually demonstrate later on in the video. Uh, we also have uh, SPI headers for the uh, for the uh, for an SD card uh, as well as the uh, pins for uh, an LCD. Not all of these are implemented in the demo right now, uh, but the the hardware supports it and they should be uh, they should be implemented later on. Uh, so basically, that's it. Thank you very much. Hi, uh, so basically here we'll be demonstrating the Wi-Fi connectivity of our controller. Uh, in this example, it's actually connected to a Corsa i3 uh, by Maker Farm. Uh, my teammate will, uh, will start the actual demonstrator, uh, demonstration. He's using a, a simple tablet to just show that you can control it from anywhere. Okay, so... Here I will be showing you some commands uh, sent from my tablet to my laptop, which run is running Apache server that uh, the our controller is connected to. So, if I, for example, press uh, on this command, 
you can see uh, uh, the printer responds. Uh, here, the Y. I can also place the Z axis. Uh, we've implemented many commands, and uh, right now I guess I'll home the axis. Yes. As you can see, we also get our, our console response from the commands that which we've sent.